Hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video, I'm taking you guys along with me as I return to one of my favorite places, Luckett's, Virginia, to do a little vintage shopping. I have some projects to share with you and a really great vintage recipe. So if you are new here, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. I have not been back to Luckett's in a very long time. This is where I always find really great pieces to decorate my home. This is where I have found vintage typewriters, antique doors, farmhouse ladders, all of those things that I just love. Now today I am just looking for some antique shutters, maybe an old vintage wooden chair for my front porch. I am basically open to just about anything. Coming back after being gone for quite a while, I am really sad that my favorite shop, the Beekeeper's Cottage, is gone. It has been replaced with the Foundry, which seems to be a very English equestrian type of store. The section that I have always loved the most is what I call the backyard, and that is where you will find the window panes, benches, and weathered pieces that I just love to decorate with. I do have some dream pieces that I am always on the lookout for, one of which is an apothecary cabinet. I didn't find one on this trip. Actually, I'm coming home with just a few small things to add to my summer decor. I did see some of the vintage chairs that I was looking for and just may come back to pick them up another time. Heading home, I'm gonna be stopping at Hobby Lobby to pick up a few things for a couple of the projects that I'm working on. This summer, I'm keeping my decor really simple. I usually do big patriotic displays, but this year I'm gonna keep everything very neutral. I'll be using a lot of black and white family photos, tiny houses with vintage touches everywhere. There will be my usual bee theme in the kitchen again this year. I just want there to be a nice, easy transition to summer, saving that red, white, and blue for the fourth. And yes, I know it's early, but I would be lying if I didn't say that I was so excited to see some of the fall decor in the store already. I am not a summer girl, and I truly do believe that the fall is our gift for enduring the heat of summer. I have been working on my summer decor and I wanted to show you this project that I just finished and I'm just in love with it. Now, you guys that have been following me for a while, you know how I feel about family photos. I love surrounding us with pictures of the family and I'm always looking for, you know, different ways to display them. So I got this idea last week and I've been slowly putting it together and I think it's pretty much finished. So this is the blanket ladder that I had, you know, in the corner by my um, china cabinet in the family room. I just switched it out with another one that I had because I thought this one was just perfect for this project. So what I did is I just, um, I strung some jute twine kind of like in a little zigzag <laughs> pattern and I've hung some black and white family pictures up with just those little um, wooden clothes pins. And I didn't put a ton of pictures on here because I can always add some more. I just kind of wanted just to scatter it a little bit to fill up the space. I also included, this is um, my dad's little movie camera that they had in the 50s that like they took on their honeymoon and all that. And I've had this um, in the house forever and I've been looking for a way to display 
display it. You know, I thought this was a perfect way to do it because I have some pictures here of, you know, my mom and dad, and I have a picture here of one of my sons and Becca, and um, I have a picture of my sister cousin there that just passed away. So these are some really well loved pictures. And I think this project came out so nice. I just added also like these little felt balls that I have like all over the house. I think they look really perfect here. And I also added this wooden heart bead um, that I picked up at Luckett's when I was just there. And of course I topped it off with a big fluffy bow because you know that's basically what I do is I put a bow on everything. So. I thought this looked really great and like I said any time that I can add more family pictures to my home the better because quite honestly there is nothing I like more than seeing all those smiling faces um, every day when I walk around the house so this is one of the projects that I just finished for summer and pretty soon I'm going to be having my um, summer home tour up so you'll have to check back to see what else that I did. So while I was at Hobby Lobby today, I picked up this wreath, which I thought was so different. I had never seen it there before, so they must have just gotten it in. And honestly, I've never seen a wreath like this anywhere before. I think it is really cool. It has um, like lamb's ear in there with some eucalyptus, some really sweet little um, white buds there and I love the rope that's wrapped around the edges and I think it looks great here on this arch. I love this archway but I really do like to layer things in the house and I had been looking for something to put up here that wouldn't cover it all up but you know would be a something to add a little bit of color to it. And I really think this is doing a great job. It always surprises me when the small changes make the biggest impact in a space. Now, I love this wreath so much. It brings a little bit of the green in, and I really think that it kind of finishes this wall here, you know, with the archway and this gray chair that used to be in my family room that we moved in here a couple weeks ago. I think that this room is pretty much finished. I do have one of my dining room chairs in this spot over here. I'm not sure I'm going to keep it there. I can't decide if I like it or not. So like when I'm out and about, I'm always looking for maybe something that might go in that spot a little bit better. So other than that, this room is pretty much done. We are thinking of getting um, some new flooring in here because this carpet is probably, oh my goodness, at least 10 years old. The living room looks pretty good. The dining room has seen better days. <laughs> Isn't that how it always is though? You're always working, you always have projects around the house and little by little, it just makes it, you know, the home you love. So that's your little living room update. So in the kitchen today, we are going to be working on dinner. Today I'm going to be making chicken cordon bleu. This is a recipe that I usually put in my crock pot, but I need to get this done a little bit quicker. So we are going to put it in a casserole dish and bake it in the oven. This is such a vintage -y type recipe. The one that we are going to be following today I found on the frugalgirls.com. I will be sure to leave a link to it down below for you. This is such an easy, tasty recipe and it goes really well with egg noodles, mashed potatoes, or rice. This is a really simple, quick recipe to put together. What you're going to need is about two pounds of chicken breast. You're going to need some ham or Canadian bacon. I'm just using this thin sliced honey ham that I got at the grocery store. 
you're going to need some Swiss cheese, one or two cans of cream of chicken soup, a package of stovetop stuffing mix, some milk, and some butter. I slice the chicken breast in half lengthwise just to make a more reasonable portion for us. Now, although it is not part of the recipe, I always like to season my chicken really well to give it the most flavor. I use salt and pepper, garlic powder, Mrs. Dash, and a little bit of paprika. Then I cover each portion of chicken with a slice of Swiss cheese. Then I add a slice of ham. In a small bowl, mix together your two cans of cream of chicken soup and about a half a cup or so of milk. I added a little seasoning to this mixture as well and then poured it over the chicken. Cover the top with the whole bag of stovetop stuffing, melt your butter and pour it on top. Cover with aluminum foil and bake in a 375 degree oven for about an hour and 15 minutes or until the chicken reaches the proper temperature with a meat thermometer. I served this recipe over some parsley rice with a side of broccoli. This reminded me so much of something my mom used to make that she called Swiss chicken. She made almost this exact recipe except without the ham and she served hers alongside of mashed potatoes. Either way, this dish is really delicious and my family really enjoyed it. Before I make some brownies for after dinner, I wanted to show you what I picked up in Luckett's. I really didn't come home with very much because I was there to really see what they had. I was looking for doors or um, like shutters, some wooden chairs, those kinds of things. But I did come home with this candle. It is a sweet pea Mosley Lane Company candle. I am not a real sweet scent kind of person. I usually like savory or spicy scents, but this was just delicious. I walked into one of the little antique stores there and they had a couple of these going and it was like immediately I just walked up and found it and put it in my bag to take it home. So I will try to look them up online to see if I can leave a link for you down below. I haven't tried yet, but I would love to find one so that I can, you know, maybe try some of their other scents. So I got this Mosley Lane Company Sweet Pea Candle. And then over here, I already have it all set up here in the den. If you hear a funny noise, that's just my air conditioning going on. We turned it on because it's like 95 degrees today. So I picked up this heart-shaped wood bowl. I also got a small oblong um, bowl as well. I collect a lot of antique buttons and I love to use little bowls like this to, you know, um, put them out throughout the house and I'd never seen a heart-shaped one before and they had a bunch of them there So I grabbed a heart-shaped and the little oblong one which I don't know what I did with that one It must be in the other room, but I just thought they were so cute and They would blend in really well with my decor that I got going on for the summer so thank you all so much for watching today and coming along with me on our little vintage field trip. Please join our communities over on Facebook and Instagram at My Bashful Life. And don't forget to subscribe. I would really love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other, stay safe, and I will see you again soon. Bye.